Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today's video is Wet n Wild. <laughs> I bought a whole box full from Ulta of Wet n Wild cosmetics from primers to setting sprays to powders, everything. Well, I forgot three items, but I think pretty much everything else is complete. Mascaras, eyeshadows, everything. Um, and I actually put this up late yesterday afternoon and I got, I looked at it after I put it up in my introduction and the ending. I had lips check. I had lipstick all over my teeth, so I had to take it down but and refilm this part in the end, but uh, the, the middle, I'm a mess, y'all. I'm just a mess. But everything else is still the same. So, uh, that is it. I'm going to go ahead and get some happy Valentine's Day. Got my red on. It looks kind of orange right in my camera, but it is red. So, uh, I'll get started. Okay, first thing I wanted to do is cover up this pimple. Uh, that I have right there. Okay, so I'm going to start with the, I'll, okay, so on the right side, I'm going to start with the primer, and I do like this primer, this face primer. It smells really good. It is the Impossible, Impossible Primer. It's just, it's thick, kind of like the consistency of a very thick cream, really. But it goes on very nicely. And I'm not a big primer fan, but I like this. But I am going to try it on just half, just to see what it does. And since I'm not doing the whole face, that's about all I need. It dries quickly. I like that because, you know, I like to go ahead and get my makeup on. It's, it isn't sticky. It feels pretty much like the other one, except it feels a little, I think it feels a little tighter. Hmm. Okay. It smells good too. I, I do like this primer. I, I think it's a good one. Next is the, I'm going to do the concealer next while this is, while this primer is kind of drying. And unfortunately I didn't get a concealer. I forgot that. There's a couple of things I forgot to order. You know, I tried to go through what I would use left out, but I'm doing the e.l.f. concealer, which is another drugstore. Excellent concealer about out and I will repurchase. So let me get that on right quick on both eyes. Now on both eyes I'm going to use this eye primer from Wet n Wild. It is the Photo Focus Shadow Primer. So it is kind of a lightly tinted primer. Just very very lightly tinted. And I always take it underneath here too because I put eyeshadow underneath. It soaks in. It's good. Uh, from wearing it yesterday, it held my eyeshadow all day long. It did a good job. So I can recommend this eye primer. Um, okay, this foundation, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the color Soft Beige. I like this foundation. I'm anxious to see how it does without the primer and without the powder because I am going to put powder on and on this side and the primer I put on this side. So let me go ahead and do this side. I think I got a little much. And I do like to put on, oh, I'm going to have to put it all over. <laughs> I do like to put off my fingers, but I just can tell how the consistency, it kind of warms it up with my fingers. Personal preference. That pimple's still there, <laughs> showing, shining brightly. I was really surprised. I don't usually get too many pimples anymore. But there you go. We've had some stressors in our lives lately, in our family, so you know how that can go. It can make your skin break out at any age. It does smell like paint a little bit, but it is not unpleasant. Okay. Okay, let me do. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. It's a little bit slightly yellow. Okay, do just a little bit. A little bit of this goes a long way, so I'm just kind of... Yeah, the powder looks fine. I liked it a little bit better without the powder, but... It's not bad, I mean. 
I have to be careful and not put too much powder on because it can really, you know, make, make it cakey on my skin. Okay, let me put, I'm going to use the setting spray. Okay, here it is. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte, uh, Photo Focus Matte Finish Setting Spray. Shake it up a little bit. So I found yesterday when I sprayed it, it kind of made big spots on my face. So I'm going to kind of kind of try to get the mist on there. It smells good. I don't know the, what what is what do finishing sprays do. I never have figured out. It, it see it just makes big droplets on my face. But it smells good. If you like a finishing spray, I guess that's a good one. I'll put it in the okay category. All right, brows. I usually like a little skinny pencil because I just go above my brows and kind of try to bring them up higher like that. I don't go underneath. I try to, you know, make them look higher. This brow pencil is a, um, it is in the color it's in the color ash brown and it is a one of the triangle ones so the color is good Okay, now here's my experience with this eyeshadow. It's very hard to open. Sometimes I have to get a coin to open it. Okay, I got it open that time. I think I have a feeling it's got where I have my fingernails hit it at times trying to get it open. That's how hard it was. It has been for me to open. It's got gouges in it now. Um, so when I did this look yesterday, two things. So I did this look yesterday, I used this color right here and I would also say this color right here but this is the one I use because it just looks like a shimmer and it looks like a taupe shimmer it is not it is a um it's just got sparkles in it and it ended up it it doesn't give you much color and it ended up not only quickly on my cheeks when I checked later, it was already it was all up on my forehead. Even I don't know how in the world it got up there. I guess I touched my she cheek and touched my forehead, but it was a mess, and it was hard to get off. And the same with this color. So these two colors I will avoid. Someone um, asked me why I always put it on my eyelid first, and I think it was because it was habit. That's why I started out doing my makeup. But then I realized it was because some of it was because I wanted to see what the lid color would look like against the color of my eyes because that would determine whether I would go on just with that same color or if I would add a transition or if I would add a crease or whatever but I'll, I'll give it a go with doing this part up here first the trend I keep hitting my arm with doing the transition and the crease first transition I'll, I'll do this kind of a current transition yeah I'll just I'll kind of do that stone color just with a light hand. I have on green today to match that color exactly. over in the corner here and then I'll just darken up the outer lid so I'll use this the outer lid I don't want to have to do a lot of blending so I'm going lightly but it, it blends well and greens are hard to do so I do think this is I do think they make wet and wild makes these uh, I think it's 10 palette 10 10 color palette. I, I think that they're probably real nice. I'm going to try a different colors palette next time. But yeah, the greens look nice. Now I'm going to do the outer V. I think with the kind of this rusty brown. I think that's a pretty color. I 
there's not a lot of fallout with this. It's it's nice. I'm kind of changing my mind not using that those two glittery colors. Those colors I wet them and everything, and they got all over the place. But now the rest of them are doing well. Okay, and then I'm going to go, I wanted to use this or this, you know, on the lid to lighten it up, but I mean, it just got all over the place. So I'm going to try this one right here, this color, and then I'll put it on my brow bone too. Still got a little bit of glitter up here. From yesterday it really did make a mess <laughs> okay that's pretty I like it I'm gonna go under my eyes with that green to have it up against the eye, my eye color so it'll you know maybe bring out the eye color more Uh, the eyeliner that I got to tight line, and I like to do my waterline, is Breakup Proof Liner in Black Brown. It's a roll up and, you know, very small little, little stick, so I'm on tight line and waterline. It's a nice eye, eyeliner color. All right. Mascara, I, I do like a waterproof mascara. I used this yesterday and I liked it. It I didn't like it as well as my waterproof Estee Lauder, but it did not smudge. Sometimes waterproofs actually can smudge because I think it has some kind of ingredient that keeps the water out that can kind of smudge a little bit, but this one was good. Um, it says it's the What and Wild Max Volume. It's pink. Max Volume Waterproof. It's got the little I thought it was purple mascara. I realized that the brush is actually pink and with the black over it looks kind of dark purple, but I felt like it didn't give me a ton of volume. It wasn't bad, but I felt like the, um, I felt like the Estee Lauder does better, but it's, it's, it's a decent mascara that will stay on. Or it did yesterday. It isn't real wet, which I like. I, well, that's kind of giving it some volume, isn't it? If I get it kind of toward the root. Maybe the more I use this, more I, I, it'll dry out just a tad. Yeah, it's. Hmm. Yeah, it's not a bad mascara at all. I still have some glitter that came off. Look. I have got, I, I know y'all can't tell it, but I've got glitter from that eyeshadow palette. All over here, all over here. It's all over my cheeks and I didn't even use glitter. It's gotten, there's several glittery ones and they, they've gotten on my matte ones, I think, and gotten down here. I, I'm not happy with that. But anyway, blush, I forgot to buy a blush, so I'll just use the NYX Sweet Cheeks in the color Rose and Play. I don't feel like putting on the bronzer. <laughs> I just don't even put more layers on. I just want to. Oh, it's terrible. I've got terrible glitter all over, and I did not use a glittery shade. Wow. Got to be careful with this eyeshadow palette. It, it's glitter. Okay, there's my blush. <laughs> now, I forgot to get a lip liner, so I'll just use my MAC Spice right quick. This is the highlighting powder. It is the Mag Mega Glow. Uh, and the color is Blossom Glow. I got more glow. Let me put it this way. I got more glow from the eyeshadow. But we'll put it on anyway. Yeah, well, it's pretty. I'll take that back. It's pretty. It's just hard to tell. Yeah, it is a nice glow. I'll take that back. It is a good glow. I'll put it in the pretty good <laughs> category. Okay, now I got my liquid liner on. 
the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. This is a this is a very matte, one of the long lasting ones. And I did have on a mask yesterday and it did last. It's one of those that feels kind of drying on your lips. Yeah, you know, you might want to make sure your lips are really moisturized and you might want to put some lip gloss over it. It is not quite as bad as if the cover girl, the cover girl that has been around a long time, you put it on and let it sit and then you put that waxy stuff on top of it. Uh, it is not quite as drying as that, but it, it's fairly drying. My color is Nudist Peach. Now, one thing I did notice about this, it kind of streaks. In, in other words, like on your first pass, it'll leave kind of bare patches where you can see your lips coming through. But then on the sides of where you swipe it, you'll have kind of a line where it's a thicker pea, part of it. Pretty, pretty color. Okay, I'm gonna go fix my hair and I'll be right back. This is the finished look. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> Let me put this up. I'm getting ready to clean my house, so I gotta do my hair up. Uh, okay, this is the finished look. My lips feel dry, uh, but you know, they don't particularly look real bad, but they, they do feel kind of dry. This foundation kind of dries chalky chalky chalkier looking than like say the nars foundation did this one this one's kind of chalky looking um the i like the highlighter i do like it i didn't think it much was getting on there but when i got in the light I, I was able to see that it did the glitter shades even though i didn't use glitter just ended up coming back down here again so that that bothered me but the eyeshadows are pretty they don't look too terribly muddy. The green is still staying a deep green, and that's hard to do. Um, I guess that's it. I'll come back later on today after I've got my hair up so I can clean and start supper and do all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I, I think I'm going to give it a good workout today, and I'll come back later and we'll see how it does. Bye. Okay, it has been hours and hours, <laughs> at least five, about six hours later. Um, I'll show you up close in a minute. The eyeshadow looks like it's still there, and in the foundation, um, it lasted about as well as other foundations do. I don't see a lot of difference in the powdered and the unpowdered. Uh, they both look they both look pretty much the same to me. Look at my hair. It is a mess. <laughs> I worked hard. <laughs> I did a lot of work. But I don't see a lot of difference in the foundation. I don't think that the primer on this side made it last longer than just and the powder on this side it didn't seem to make it last longer than on this side so to me it's unnecessary but that lasted an equal amount uh the eyeliner didn't last at all so that was a fail the lipstick didn't last i thought it would i thought it would last longer it lasted a bit Probably a little longer than other matte lipsticks, but it didn't last all day, you know. And I thought it might. The mascara did well. It didn't smear. Uh, I still have the glitter all over. I like the colors. I don't like the, the glitters in there. I would probably try to dig out the, the glitter, the two glitter shades in this, because they're just getting all over the place. But that foundation does look nice, but... Um, and I do like the uh, highlight. That looks good too.
I'm going to talk about the items that I liked and the ones that I didn't like quite so well. The foundation. I thought that was a really good foundation. It dried slightly, a little chalky, a little lighter, but not so much that it would keep me from using it. I would put it in the rotation with my NARS and with my Lancome Stick Foundation. I thought it was a really good foundation. It smelled slightly like paint, like I had heard, but it is good. It is a good drugstore foundation and uh, I will use it uh, very much. Oh my goodness, I loved this highlighter. I thought it was excellent. I thought it was subtle. It was like the sun was just kind of shining on your cheeks and it was absolutely beautiful. So uh, that was very much a a big hit for me. I, I will I will use that. I will use that a whole lot. The eye primer. I thought it was really good too. I just, you know, I'm hooked on Paint Pot uh, Painterly Color by MAC, but I'm going to use this one too. I'm going to try it against my Paint Pot and see what I think, but it held that uh, eyeshadow really, really well. And speaking of the eyeshadow, it did hold really well. It was a good eyeshadow except for those, you know, it's a little bit plus and a little bit minus on this eyeshadow except for those two shadows that were horribly shiny and glittery and got all over the place, everywhere, the other eyeshadows were good. And they lasted, they maintained their color, they didn't get muddy, but it almost ruined, those two eyeshadows almost ruined the whole palette where I would have hated it and thrown it across the room. It, you know, those were that bad. But the others, I gave it a chance and the others made up for it. The lipstick, it was a beautiful color, but it's okay. Um, it was drying. It didn't last as long as I felt like some other longer lasting matte lipsticks might last for you to put up with that amount of dryness. It was kind of a pass for me, but it was a pretty color. I'm not much of a primer person, but this was a good primer. This, uh, the Wet n Wild primer, if you like a primer, this one is very much worth giving a look at. Uh, it may be your holy grail. It made things matte. It smoothed my skin out. It helped to reduce the, the pore size. Uh, it did real well, especially under this foundation. Uh, I don't, I won't wear it a whole lot, but if I do want a primer, I will reach for that. The powder, I didn't like it. The translucent powder, it was chalky. It got in lines and wrinkles. It was drying. I, I just, I didn't like it. I'm not a big powder person anyway, but uh, this one, this one was not it for me. Um, I liked, if I was going to wear a powder, I liked that NARS powder that I talked about last week much, much better. Much better. The mascara, it wasn't bad. If you like a uh, waterproof mascara. This one would be one to think about using. It wasn't hard to get off, but it lasted. It didn't smear underneath. And I kind of credit that primer too that I put underneath my eyes that it, it wasn't, it didn't attract and make the mascara smear underneath there either. But this mascara did well. And a lot of mascara smear on me. Um, this one was a good one. I liked it. And sometimes Sometimes waterproof mascaras have an ingredient in there that won't, that makes it waterproof that will sometimes smear, but this one didn't do that. This setting spray, it smelled good. I didn't like it. It just, it, uh -uh. I didn't like it. It made big water spots on my face and I tried to go through it. I didn't think it did any good. It smelled good. I might use it as a room spray to tell you the truth. It smells good. <laughs> I will use it and spray it around the room, I think. The eyeliner, I didn't like it. It was hard to get on. I kept having to rub on that waterline, rub, 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 and, you know, try to dig in, and then it didn't last. I thought it should have gone on easier and lasted better, so I didn't, I didn't like it. Uh, I didn't care for the brow pencil. The formula was fine. I just didn't like that square, that triangle shape. So if you like that triangle shape, you might want to give it a try. But it wasn't, you know, I won't probably won't use it again. I feel like I'm forgetting something. If I do, I will, when I go back and look at this, I will make an, you know, I will add on to it. But 
If I don't, thank you so much for watching. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope that y'all have a wonderful week. I'll talk to y'all in a couple of days. This was a lot of fun. I think I want to do it on more drugstore products like e.l.f. because there's several e.l.f. products I really like and several Milani products that I really like that I think that I wanted to dive into their lines even more and I think that would be fun. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.